Hey there, I'm Lucas Bond with the Missouri Department of Conservation and today on Habitat Hints, we're going to be talking about a unique fun tree that produces these tasty fruits and yes, that's right, they taste so good. Mulberry trees and I'm going to be joined by MDC's Ann Koenig and Ann's going to tell us about mulberry trees and why they're so tasty and why they're so beneficial to our landscape. Let me turn this around and we'll talk to her. All right, Ann, so we're looking at a mulberry tree. Tell us about a mulberry tree and these special little tasty treats that are growing off of it. Well, um, mulberry is a native tree and it has almost what looks to be a blackberry type berry that hangs off it. They're uh, ripening right now. So you think early summer, this, these are tasty little treats. They're not as tart as a blackberry. Um, and taste a little bit different but they're certainly tasty so they go from very ripe like this dark black kind of like a blackberry where these are going to be a little bit more sour and not taste so good if they're this color they are not ripe yet it's not like they'll make you sick or anything but they're not going to be tasty um, I'd say most people don't pick them for pies or stuff like you do uh, blackberries most people just eat them straight off the tree and they are great for wildlife you will see tons of birds in the trees right now uh, enjoying themselves because just look how loaded these trees are and oh, yeah. um, there are many native birds that love to get these fruits right now. So Ann tell us how do we know it's a mulberry? I know we can sell by the berry is that that's one way but by just a tree was there a distinct purpose of the tree that can just say hey look oh that's a mulberry tree. Okay, well, first thing is there is zero that looks like this besides mulberry right now. So this is the easiest time to identify it. If you're walking around, to be honest, the way I identify this tree is I'm walking around and I look down the sidewalk and I think, why is the sidewalk purple? And then I look up and realize, oh, there's, there's mulberry. This is a mulberry tree mm -hmm. over me and it's dropping its fruit. It stains the, it stains the ground where it is. So, yeah. Um, yeah, it stains our hands. You will see this... Uh, mulberry color underneath you when or uh, underneath the tree where you're walking so mm -hmm. most people identify it but not even looking at the tree they look at the ground and think what's up with that um so very easy to identify now doesn't it look like a, a giant blackberry oh, or yeah. something oh yeah now what's a little tricky is this one's been cut off several times for whatever reason and so it looks kind of like a, a bush they won't always by any means mostly they're a single stemmed tree like you'd think a oak or a anything else so they don't necessarily have this form they they're a little bit of what we'd call a weedy form where they get a little bit leggy like this um they are native they can grow up a lot in fields so you'll see them in old fields um a lot of people used to eat the fruits maybe more they are very familiar and as we have just gotten not as familiar we kind of forget about them but you see them a lot in town. You see them a lot on, in fence rows. They're not going to be in like the deep forest. They can't tolerate shade. So you're going to see them in kind of areas that have been a little bit abandoned. Um, and their leaves are interesting and shiny. If you can tell by this tree, that's one way to identify it is just by the uh, super waxy looking leaf. But the very easiest way is right now looking at those fruits and the, the different colors of fruit on the tree as they ripen. Awesome, awesome. Where can we learn more about a mulberry tree? You can learn all about mulberries and all native trees on our Conservation Department's website. All right, thank you very much, Ann. And I'm going to echo what you said. Check out our website at mdc.mo.gov to learn more about all the mulberry trees you want to.